Hi, my name is Isaac Smith. I am a math communications major, minoring in leadership studies. Hi, my name is Sianna Harrell. I am a biochemistry major, minor biology. Hi, my name is Quinsetta. I'm a sociology major. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all all goofy. I am a sociology major with a minor in legal studies. My name is Jalen Levine, and I am a psychology major with a minor in social science. Hi, I'm Shalea. Hi. I am an early childhood education major. You better. <laughs> you girl. You better. We love the kids. We love to see it. So today, I wanted to do a video on advice during exam time for all college students. And not even just college students, but like high school students. So, I'm going to start the video off with some questions. So... Number one, hmm. how do you guys study? I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I I don't. I don't. I one thing that I try to do is not be in my room because I feel like being in your room, you can get distracted by your TV and, you know, other stuff. So what I do is try to get out my room and go to a secluded area. And that's how I know I can contain more information, like, if I'm by myself. So for me, um, a lot of my studying, I really don't do studying throughout the semester only because, like, I pay attention in class. And if I pay attention in class, then, like, I don't feel like I need to go back and study for the exams. I mean, I might look over it, like, here and there. But, like, if you really pay attention in class and go, like, ask your professors or whatever, mm -hmm. like, where you're confused, then you don't have to spend as much time studying because you'll already know because they explained it well. I second that. I do study, but not in the conventional way of studying yeah. in my room and stuff i pay attention to class and yeah. try to ask questions of whatever i don't understand so that way i don't get too far behind so when it comes to a point that i need that extra help i can just go look over my notes or ask yeah. the professor and that makes it easier for finals too because instead of having to study the entire course material you only have like a little bit you need to look over because you already have the rest already like stored away well y'all lucky because for me problems practice problems and note cards because you got to know all these terms, you got to know all these equations, you got to know all the math. Because if you don't, you're not going to do well on the test. She is a chemistry major, so. <sighs> Nobody told her to do that. Yeah. <laughs> like, she set herself up. I like yeah. chemistry. It's, it's beautiful, yes. but it's hard. So, practice. We hate to see it. Ain't no hearts. <laughs> Y'all just haters, okay? Y'all know some nerds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my <laughs> next question is, what not to do when studying be on your phone don't be on your phone don't okay be, don't be with your friends don't yeah, be on social be media phone. don't be I on social can. media um because these hooligans <laughs> they go i can't even be in my room by myself because they just come in her room's a hangout spot we can't help honestly that. that's why i'll be here now exactly. <laughs> it's fine it's fine what do you guys think is the best time to study and why it's like during the day, every day. I mean, I'm talking a lot, but every day you don't got a choice. I can't relate. To I mean, this I don't study so I'm not saying it really like there's no like study, best time to study. It's really whatever time you're most efficient. So like for me, like I'm most efficient in the mornings when I get up and go. Because if I get up and go and I start my day off like that, then I'll be very efficient. But if you catch me at like <coughs> past like nine thirty, ten o'clock, baby. I could say, I could yeah. knock off of Jalen and say, like, in the morning because all of them know that I wake up at least two hours early to prepare for class. Yeah. So I wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning. So I feel like for me, I get, up, I get up and get on my computer and talk in the morning. Anytime you have the time to study, study because you probably got an exam every week. 
Um, my suggestion is scaffolding. Um, scaffolding is breaking stuff down into different parts. So I would say if you got a lot of stuff to study, study for a good hour or two hours. Like push yourself and actually study. Don't be on your phone, no breaks or nothing. Study for those two hours. Get a, like a 15 minute break and then go back to studying so you won't stress yourself out. But make sure you take those breaks because yeah. Yeah. those will help you continue yes. on studying. Otherwise you'll get burnt out in the first like right. two hours. Yes. Yeah, and to bounce off of that too, like you can't just like cram everything because the mm -hmm. your brain is really going to retain the, um, the knowledge that you just went over like when you're sleeping and stuff. Mm -hmm. So just like cramming everything isn't going to help you. So I'm a psychology major, y'all. So just to put this in there. Um, <laughs> Like, your memory is only good, like, in class and stuff for the first, like, 30 minutes. So, like, you can retain that information, but then your brain stops being able to take in, like, new things. Mm -hmm. So, because of that, like, you have to be able to take the break to say, okay, let me go do something that doesn't even relate to this, to be able to come back and start recalling different things. Look at the psychology. Look at the chemistry. Next question. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, question number three. <laughs> would you guys recommend a solo studying? Or group study. Solo. Solo. Me and I'm studying sorry. with someone like me, me you're not going to get anything done, and that's real. Definitely. Depends on your major, too. Yeah. True, yeah. true. Because it's hard for me to study with a group, because yeah. most of the stuff is like, yeah, I remember it differently because I had a different experience with it in class and in school. Yeah. Okay. So, like, I'm that's learning how to teach, so when I think about, like, the ways I'm teaching, I'm thinking about my experience as a younger, mm -hmm. you know, like, person mm -hmm. in the classroom. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I'm ready to see it. What are some things you regret doing while studying? Mm -hmm. Um, I know for me, it's hard for me to say no. So like, mm -hmm. my friends just be in my room, <laughs> and I definitely She's regret nice. saying that they could come in my room it because be be I definitely be trying to. It'd be me. <clears throat> I definitely be trying to, you know, talk when they come in here. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> what am I my, my biggest problem, I don't know, I get stuck. I be reading something, and then something catch my eye, like a, a sound, and I look at it for like 10 minutes, and I be like, oh, I'll go be reading. Or somebody come to my room, because yeah. everybody comes to my room, and then they'll talk to me, and I get distracted. And I'm like, okay, I'm glad like to read. Yeah. When somebody calls me my phone, it's just I just get stuck in a moment, and I just... I think mine has been like I went so hard at the beginning of the semester, so now it's hard for me to find the motivation to continue. Yeah, without. that is like, true. Thanks. Don't get me wrong, like I'm still doing it, but like at the same time, I just don't have that push and that drive yeah. to get it done like I used to. Mm -hmm. So I regret going too hard in the beginning compared to like how I'm doing now. Yikes. I regret mm -hmm. taking these hard classes, honestly. Oh, that's I'm that, glad you said that. I regret, <laughs> Actually, yeah. I'm gonna say I regret taking all my gen eds first because now I don't have any easy classes to balance out yeah. my hard classes. So what is that um website break my professor? Yeah. Oh. I regret not using yes, that in use the that. beginning. Maybe. Like my use that that year, that'll be your best friend. I just took whatever class was open and the time me. and did not me. notice that my that professors that are not on that. me. <laughs> It's accurate, y'all. Yes. Like, it's really it's accurate. Accurate. Okay, so where do you guys think is the best place for y'all to study and why? Me is the library. Mm -hmm. And I say that because nobody's in there bothering you. Like, you have your own space. It's quiet. Like, <coughs> and you see other people being studious. Except for it, exam time. Yeah, mm -hmm. ex except for exam time. But typically, yeah. like... And then, um, whenever you see other people doing it, you're more prone to be active and be yeah, involved true. into your work. So that just gives me the push that I need to continue to do it. Yeah. Um, I don't think that it necessarily matters where you study. I think that the first thing, first and foremost, your headspace has to be in the mindset to study. Because mm -hmm. if that's not there, then you're, it doesn't matter where you go for your study. Because again, I get stuck. <laughs> so, like, my mind not in the, the mood, like, oh, I got study then, I'm not going to study. Yeah. But when I do study, I tend to, like, I, I like to stay in my room, but if I feel like I need to, like, really push through it, then I might go to the study room and just, like, mm -hmm. focus. And it doesn't matter, like, once I'm in that space, it doesn't matter who's around, I'm just, like, yeah. going. So. Um, for me, if I'm 
Docs are jail, like the library, especially like the little single private rooms mm, yeah. they have yeah. on the second floor. Yeah. I know for me personally, like just going in there, like shutting the door and like put my headphones in, like just knowing that no one's gonna come bother me and I'm in my own little space, like like I can be structured, I can lay everything out, okay, I'm gonna do this, yeah. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, and have the computer right there. So that's the best place for me. I agree. I agree. It doesn't matter for me. We know. Yeah, we know. This girl literally will walk on her, her, phone, on her phone, on her phone, looking yeah. at PowerPoint notes. <laughs> like this fun. girl, okay? That's not like your fun. Yes, she does it for fun. Tiana, what you doing? Oh, I'm just studying. You know how like we scroll through IG. Tiana She's just scrolling through presentations. Okay. Like, <laughs> and then that's what to do. Tiana wants to do two weeks from now. Okay. No. Um, <laughs> it's college. I know for me, the best place to study, um, <laughs> not my room, probably not even the library. I like have to find a really secluded area because I like talk. to talk. She do. <laughs> so like, if I see somebody I know, then I'm just gonna start talking to them. Or and she'll give them a hug. Hi, how is your Hey, hey oh, yeah. Hi, lovely. Oh my oh, god, I missed you. Oh, oh, and don't have nothing to eat with you. Oh, it's over Can with. I get <laughs> you? Can I get rest of the night. Oh, oh, I'm going to the rest of the night. You want some? Yeah. For the rest of the night. Ain't no way to eat. Like I said, I need to be real secluded because I start talking or eating some food. So, yeah. I have to just find it like a really quiet spot. And yeah. Mm, last question. What was the best tip that you received um having in regards to like studying i guess or just receiving like an a in a class or just being successful go to your freaking professors go to your freaking professors everybody will always tell you to do it but like no seriously like do it like go and do it yeah, they literally the don't do anything in their office but sit there and wait for their students to come in there and test them like honestly like People don't understand, like, I, my GPA wouldn't be what it is if I yeah. did not go to my professor office hours, like, during the semester yeah. and just haven't talked to them and have a conversation with them. Because if they see you and they know yeah. that you're trying, yeah. when you need that C minus or that C plus that, to go that to S. a B, yeah. or you need that S, they will, you to they, S they, will do, they will do whatever they need to see you succeed. Do not let yeah. your pride get in the way of going. Child. Because you need help. No, I like, right uh, your, um, your professors, like, yes. Um, teacher moment. <laughs> <laughs> For those who are not as vocal and who don't want to talk to their professors, I don't normally go to, like, my professors, but I, have, I get good grades, but I'm more so, I'm more vocal in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Like, my work speaks for itself. Like, I haven't spoken to I have political thought this semester. I haven't spoken to my professor in his office at all. But when it's time to take quizzes or do tests, like, my work is the shit. It just is. And he, he recognizes that and he talks to me. And he I know that if I needed a boost or I needed help, he will be there. So I think that just wow. performing well yeah. in class and just... Not, even if you don't know nothing, but just talking and being a part of the interaction. Like, just pay attention. Like, your professors will yeah. really get to know you. Like, going... Okay, we go to a small, like, university, so, like... Professors typically know your name, mm -hmm. but like yeah. even if they know your name, like my professors kind of know my story. So like even mm -hmm. if I don't go tell them exactly what my story is because of my work, because I participate in class, and because I go to their <coughs> office hours, they know my story without me having to tell them. So if I'm having a hard mental day, or if I'm having like a tougher time in the mm -hmm. class or other classes, they're yeah. willing to understand because hey, look, I'm not just one of these students sitting wherever, not doing anything, not participating. Yeah. Okay. And go back to not sitting. Stop sitting in the back. Sit in the front yes, or sit in the literally. middle. Yeah, because those, those because <laughs> I still the, struggle with this. Because Honestly. literally, like <laughs> professors, like they pay attention to everybody in the class, but they really pay attention to the people that sit in front of them. Because the that people that true. sit in front of them, they know that every day they're coming to learn because they yeah. literally right here to them. Like, I get, like, you want to be in the back because you don't want nobody to know that you're there <laughs> and you want to be secluded. But literally, like, from freshman year to now, I've learned to move up and not be in the back. My so, advice like, is it's okay to not be okay. Yeah. 
So when you need help, go use the resources on campus. Yeah. Personally, with the they have counseling services, tutors. They have all this stuff for us to go get help, not just for <laughs> Woo, a, help. not just academics, but outside of academics because your physical health health is your mental health. We needed that. So time. get help. Don't be too prideful to go get help. Use the resources that you that's available to you. Yeah. Uh, my advice is always ask questions because you never know if someone else is wondering the same questions. Yeah. Especially yeah. in chemistry classes. Yeah. If yeah. you don't understand something and you don't try to practice it, the best bet is to actually ask a question. Because yeah. when you're doing like the empirical formula, you you might want to ask questions. <laughs> oh, another, I got another tip too. Make a friend in the class. Yes! yes. Get a like, number, get a number, literally. literally. <laughs> if you, yeah, if you make a friend, not only like do you have yeah. someone you can bounce ideas off of or like get the notes whenever you miss, and but it will literally make the class go by so much and faster. Uh, so I got a best friend in Spanish, okay? Her name is Erin. Shout out to you, sis, because you've been funny this entire yeah. semester. <laughs> and I'm really upset you're about to graduate, but it's fine. Yeah. Oh, she got me. Shout out to the girl in math class, because she make, she helped me make a 99 on my quiz, and oh. that's just Okay. And, that, and that's just because mm -hmm. we went over the information yeah. the, like literally hours before. I would like to thank all my That goes back to season yeah. too. Make I think that was good. I feel like we gave them a lot of suggestions, advice. If this doesn't work for you, don't come blame me. Sorry. And oh. listen, and if you need anything, if you need advice or you need to talk a little bit more, you can follow me on my social media. <laughs> um, yes! No. 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 Okay, <laughs> she'll have them down below in the comments. Yes, yeah, right here. We'll right here. Okay. I would definitely want everybody great. down below. Don't uh, look for any me. last Sorry. words from anybody? <laughs> oh no. Um, just have a good rest of the semester and yeah. just don't stress yourself. Like you got enjoy your experience and Live it gets it better. Higher. It gets yeah. better. Yeah. Make that money, sis. Also, get a job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and, and we're out. Go.